Hey, how's it going, um, bros, not bros, women, but, um, ladies and gentlemen, ponies and gentle calls, this is the one, the only, criticism guy, 2009, I, I know I haven't been making a lot of videos lately, and, um, it's actually taken a lot more longer to get internet than I thought it would, but, um, uh, a lot of personal things have been going on in my life, I'm gonna get, not gonna get too much deep, I'm not gonna get too much into detail into it, but, um, long story short, um, life's been kind of a bitch to me the past six weeks, probably. Past month and a half, I guess. And it's right around the corner of my birthday, and I don't want to celebrate it like this, you know? Um, just give you a real quick update what's been going on in my life. Not too many things, but just the few things that actually matter. Um, as most of you know, I haven't had internet for almost two weeks, two months. It's about to be almost seven weeks since I haven't done a video for my Criticism Guy channel here. And about four weeks going on five since I haven't done any on, um, what's it called? I'm my Nintendo 2011 channel. And, um, I have a lot of good reasons. I have a lot of good excuses, a lot of good explanations and everything. I'm not going to get too much into it. But, yeah, um, the reason why I haven't been making videos um, is because I don't, know if, I don't know if any of you have ever seen my old um, video, older videos with my um, two chihuahuas, the brown one and the light brown one. I'm my Nintendo freak. I used to show her a lot. You know, um, I used to call her name Mimi all the time. Um, Unfortunately, about almost a week and three days by the time Sunday comes around, because I'm doing this video on Saturday afternoon, I never work today. I only work the cafeteria thing Monday to Friday. But other than that, you know, um, she's been gone for over a week. We put flyers all over 702 area. It's been a fucking nightmare, literally. Not really for me, but for a real good roommate of mine. She's been crying every night, unfortunately. I'm not going to say the name or whatever because, you know, that, that's for the person that you'll see in real life. If you ever get to know me in real life, I'll explain it to you more. But until then, like I say, I don't ever, I don't ever give all my information out on YouTube because I don't know what motherfuckers out there that are watching this. If it's a brony fan, a video game anime fan, that's cool. If any other of the ten topics that I usually talk about, it's all good. But if it's a FBI fucking agent, somebody that wants to shoot me, stab me, kill me, or whatever. I'm not going to give too much information on there, because there's a lot of crazy psychopathic motherfuckers that are out there in YouTube. And I'm well aware, there's probably maybe 20, 30 at the most, probably um, either crazy stalker fuckers, um, very psychopathic, disgusting individuals out there, or FBI, CIA, DEA agents, which they can all go fuck themselves, let's be honest, you know, that basically, you know, watch my videos every time, they never make a response, you know, there's... They're just seeing, they're just waiting for me to, you know, slip up and say something like, I'm going to assassinate somebody real important or something, or I'm going to be a domestic terrorist, which I'm not. For the billion times I've probably said it on this channel, on my Nintendo 2011 channel, I'm a regular American citizen. I'm going to say it again, just in case you fuckers don't know. Um, regular American citizen, born and raised upstate New York, you know, fucking lived out here in Vegas 11 going on almost 12 years, and, you know, I've never thought about any of those crazy thoughts, you know. But, uh, yeah, the reason, the, uh, that's the one big update. Our dog got lost, but I wasn't really attached to it, so it didn't bother me too much. So now we got this little run of the litter now. So, um, yeah, I've been doing that. I've been going to a lot of job fairs. I'm not going to show you too much information there because that's a little personal for me, you know. I tried this place out. I need to know what Famous Footwear is. a pretty good-ass shoe company. It's a lot better than Foot Liar because it's a lot cheaper, too, and a lot more, you know, what's called affordable, if you will, you know. I went to this little um, little gathering thing, not a YouTube gathering, but like a little job fair gathering, because I don't know if I told you guys on my Nintendo Free channel, but I've been needing a second job because um, money's getting a lot more tighter around here. And the uh, last thing I want to do is get kicked out the street because I won't be able to make videos for you guys anymore. Um, other things, entry level program for Verizon, New York, like, you know, all these other program things I've been trying to get a second job on because I'm real good at skills like picking up phones and shit like that, you know. I, I used to do it six, seven years ago, a while ago. Back when I was still in high school, I did a couple job things here and there. I even got a little Verizon chain. It's probably going to blind you, so warning. You know, it's pretty kick-ass. You know, I even got a little lip chapstick thing from them. And um, I've been getting a lot more paid, more money, so um, for my job, even though it's not doing a lot. And I got a lot of my little pony pair. My little pony friendship is magic. I'm trading cards, you know. Got Princess Celestia's thing right there. I got um, the, I got all three of the Cutie Marks from Applejack, Pinkie Pie, and all of them. I got it at Walmart. Big deal, you know. <laughs> That's another debate. A Princess Luna and Twilight and all of them. And I even got the standees. I don't know what they call them standees because you got to rip them out, but I'm not, I'm not ripping these the fuck out. 
You just see how long I've been doing this video. Five minutes. Well, I think it'd be 30 minutes by now because I do take a long time doing my videos. I got Scootaloo one, I got Fluttershy and Rarity. This, and it's only um five out of um five out of nine, eight out of nine, and uh, six out of nine. So I need like eight more and I'm good. And this is a little wrapper I got it from. There's two other ones with Applejack, um, Applejack, Rainbow Dash, and um, Pinkie Pie and um, Twilight. But I hung those up on my wall. You might see them in a ton of free videos. If you subscribe there, definitely check it out. I even got a little 2013 thing from one of my roommates that works in this organizational thing. And um, check this shit out. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but um, hold on a sec. I'm going to probably do a separate video on this on my Nintendo Free channel. So, um, hold on. I don't know if you can see any of that. A lot of blind little pony friendship is magic thing. I got to get a card deck thing or whatever because um, it's kind of a pain in the dick to try to um, put all those together. And then I got this. And the one I wanted to show you, you know, I got the cake, sweet bell, and all of them, my angel, Scootaloo, shining armor, Twilight's older brothers, diamond tiara, and um, silver spoon, the bitches I always hurt, cutie marker shaders, and print blue blood. The best one I like, even though I don't like this one that much, but... I got a holographic Scootaloo. How lucky am I? Other than that, um, yeah, let me just put you guys back now. Oh, and then, like, I've been getting a whole bunch of other things and shit, you know. Um, got my power with me. This is the last one out of the five I've had. I have, like, five every almost every day, so I've been pissing the hell out of my system a lot. So, uh, oh, and I looked a little bit like a shy guy when I did my style like this. So, um, check that shit out. Nice ass, you know. Not swag, but, you know, nice-ass clothing stock. So I don't like that word, swag. It's shit. That's more than shit, you know? Other than that, let's really begin this video. I know, you guys, that was a long-ass intro, so I'm probably going to put in the annotation somewhere if I do edit this video. Um, skip the first six, seven minutes of this and go to this movie review. Because I know I'm, I said on my Nintendo 3 channel about a month ago I was going to do a movie review of the Django Unchained, or Django Unchained, Quentin Tarantino film, very amazing movie. Stars, of course, Quentin Tarantino. The main character is Jamie Foxx. Got Samuel Jackson, Leonardo DiCaprio. So I don't know where the hell he's been, because the last two movies he did was um, Inception and Shutter Island, which were all right. You know, well, Shutter Island kind of put me to sleep, because it's one of those psychological movies you got to watch more than once. But uh, Inception was a lot better, so. He did really good in this movie, too, you know. So definitely props to Leonardo DiCaprio, a.k.a. Leo. He's, got, he's definitely come a long way since his Titanic and growing pains. Uh, forgive me on that uh, sound. That was the text. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, you know, fuck. This is Django and Shane movie, of course. It stars one more person, Carrie Washington, which I forgot to mention. And this other guy named Christopher Colt. Or Kiss Christopher Waltz, I think. Not Christopher Walken from that other movie, The Seven Psychopaths, but um, another one. His older white dude. He's supposed to be German. So I'm not going to get too much into the movie because it's probably going to take me a half hour, a whole hour just to explain what everything was about. I'm just going to tell you about the highlights. I got it for my trailer review, but I'm going to get a lot more attention. So basically, this movie um, starts off with, um, I thought I heard the TV or whatever. <laughs> Same old CG09. You know, I haven't changed. But yeah, it basically starts off with Jimmy Fox, as, a.k.a. Django and Chain. Or Django. Um, he's a slave, and um, before I did begin this, this movie probably offended a lot of African Americans and black people because they kept saying the word, and I'm not racist for saying this, but um, he kept saying the word like nigger a lot instead of nigger. And it's funny because when Samuel Jackson was playing it, he kept saying, man, nigger shit, don't put the bitch ass up, you know, like typical Morenos like from nowadays. Unless they have education, and they're, you know, highly educated, and they, you know, they fight for what they want nowadays, you know, the, the white man takes them seriously, but they're all ghetto and shit, you know, and my side, Puerto Ricans, you know, they're ghetto and shit too, just like black people, but, you know, fuck it, it is what it is, you know, that's the only way the white people take you seriously, you know, and the only reason, the only way white people can ever wait to relate to either black or Latinos is if they were born and raised in that type of environment, which might make them white trash, but you know what, hey, we respect them back if they are, but other than that, Either they're a learning and process kind of white person or just a racist fuck, okay? Other than that, you know, um, I know I keep saying other than that, basically, that's how I am in my videos. You guys know my style by now. You should know. Get with the times, you know? I gotta slap you upside the head with it or something. <laughs> now nah, I'm fucking with you guys. But yeah, um, 
basically, um, this whole movie, like, of course, like I said, it starts with Jamie Foxx. He's chained in his, um, as a Django and chained. His doctor, he helps him out. He saves him. There's a lot of blood. If anybody's ever seen Quentin Tarantino's movie, you expect a lot of blood, a lot of guts, a lot of sex, a lot of cussing, a lot of little bit of porn here and there, and um, a lot of people's heads getting cut off. So, if you don't know anything about Quentin Tarantino's movies, and if you if you're one of those people that get really, really sick or queasy, if you see the, the sight of blood, I highly suggest you do not see this video, I mean, not video, this movie, because um, there's a lot of that. <laughs> and do not bring your kids to the movie because it's rated R, because unless you're a parent that doesn't give a shit and you want your kids to watch whatever the hell they want, by all means, go for it. But other than that, you know, definitely don't bring your kids. Anyways, uh, yeah, this guy, this Dr. Schultz dude or whatever, that's his name, Dr. Schultz. Not Dr. Schultz, like, what helps you um, make your feet a little better. It's something else, Dr. Schultz. He's a German dude. He helps the Django while I'm going on his journey. He, he teaches them basically the tactics about being a bounty hunter, a.k.a. a killer assassin. And uh, how Jamie, Pop, Jamie, Pop, Jamie Fox, a.k.a. the Django, um, how he puts it as um, killing white folks for money and um, getting paid for it. Hell yeah, I'm all in. That's how he said it. And um, I know C. Green over there, C. Green 34, a.k.a. Um, Greenway TV Alternative Media Television, television he talked about it about two weeks ago. Um, he said it was supporting a lot of gun violence and same with movies and video games, which I'm going to get to another topic on that in my Nintendo Free Channel, because if you've ever met me or seen me in real life, you know how much that pisses me the fuck off when people still, right away, they want to blame all oh, the fucking video games is what making people kill each other, when that is, n that is far beyond what's making them kill people in real life. Because me, ever since I was seven, eight years old, I've been playing violent video games, and I, I came out normal. I never, ever thought once of doing a mall shooting, doing a movie shooting, a school shooting, never. The reason that shit happens, because that shit is government orchestrated. That shit has fucking, um, what's it called? The Dragon's Breath, all these pharmaceutical companies, <clears throat> excuse me, these pharmaceutical companies like Walgreens, CVS, you take all that shit, you're going to want to fucking kill somebody, unfortunately. And these MK Ultras and shit like that, you know, they tell them what to do, and then they end up shooting mass motherfuckers out and over. Just like what happened in California out there in four, eight hours ahead of me. It's called Taft, California. I don't know if he was an MK Ultra or if he was just a legitimate psychopathic motherfucker that was basically um, blasting shit out of six, eight people. I think two of them died out of those six. Um... Another thing of gun violence, I already knew it was a matter of time. It was the first one this year, too, so I'm going to get a get on a separate video on that, even though it's been three days since that happened, but yeah. Let's keep going to the Django Unchained before I keep um, going off topic. But yeah, you know, um, the Django Unchained, you know, you know, he, t he teaches them how to be a bounty hunter, and he just shoots the hell out of all these um, racist white motherfuckers, and I'm not trying to be a racist or anything. That's how it is, how it was, because this was in the 1800s. There was still a lot of racism going on, a lot of white people... I didn't give a shit about black people. They treated them like literally shit. Even though I saw some of them are sometimes, but nowadays, you know what? I know a few Morenos, black people, even myself personally, so I would never call them the word nigger or anything like that. That's very disrespectful. That's, that's like the same people that white people call me like a beaner or a wetback or a fucking um, a spick or some shit, you know? I would get pissed the fuck off. I would probably break their fucking face and possibly kill them. I don't know. If it went that far, but I would probably wouldn't kill him. I'd just lay him out unconscious. Nothing big. But yeah, other than that, you know, um, this whole Django and Chain. The main story is, is that he's trying to save his wife, that's, which is played by Carrie Washington. She speaks German and English. I think her name was in that movie was um, Brumella or Brumella. I don't know. Brumella Washington. I don't know. But yeah, you know, um, basically, um, he's just trying out there. He's blasting the shit out of all these people that hurt his wife. He's basically seeking revenge. That's what he's doing. There was these first three people called the, the Brittle Brothers. I forgot their names. I think one was Roy. Another one was um, Trey. And the other one was Michael Brittle. The Brittle Brothers. He had to kill them first. And then he ended up killing these other people first. And then he ended up killing um, Dirty Harry or something like that. It's kind of weird. I don't know why they named him that. He killed a whole bunch of other people. He ended up um, killing the first one, which was a marshal or whatever. And then the dude, he's like, oh, I couldn't resist the one that was helping him. There was this one scene where this um this dude or whatever he puts a gun into his like um little sleeve. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, he kills like the sheriff marshal. He's like, you take your bath bed, buddy, and you're dead. And he goes, Shh, sh, boom. It's like this little laser zap down the way they made it sound like, boom, like that. 
and he just shot himself. And then the the marshal ends up coming and says, oh yeah, I have a warrant for his head. You know, he gets away with murder, basically. You know, and he gets paid for that shit. Because 800000 dollars at that time, that was like a billion trillion dollars, like two, three hundred years ago. You know. But other than that, you know, um, what it comes down to is that there was a lot of gun violence, but I don't care. I love guns. I'm not an owner of one, unfortunately. But if I ever do have one, I will use a responsibility, and um, I will never use it like uh, on a crazy psychopathic, you know, governmental controlled mind kind of setting. You know, I wouldn't do it like that. Uh uh. No fucking way in hell I would ever do that shit. But yeah, other than that, last but not least, I do want to talk about this movie is that um, Quentin Tarantino makes his appearance all the way at the end because, um, you know, they need Leonardo DiCaprio once they kill all the other white people that ended up um, destroying the shit out of his wife. And Samuel Jackson, he's always kissing the white man's ass all the time in this movie. I forgot what his name was, but he's, um, what's this called? He, he works for Leonardo DiCaprio, which he's the plantation owner and shit of Candyland. Because, um, that's the whole place where um, all the black people are all slaves and shit, and the white man has power, unfortunately. In a way, if I had to resemble that to real life nowadays, it is kind of true, because who do you think owns all these big, giant CEO companies? A lot of white people, old white people, mostly white men. And I'm trying to be racist against Caucasians, but unfortunately, that's what it's come down to, you know. Walmart, Target, Best Buys, Kmart, you know, Sears, Radio Shack, um, what the fuck else? Um, Toys R Us, all those shits are owned by white people, even all these fast food chains, like McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Carl Jr. I know that, but you know, I'll, I'll, once in a while I'll go over there and eat that shit. I don't care. I'm not giving a shit about the CEO, because the CEO, they don't give a shit about any of the customers, really, they don't. They're too busy on their yacht, you know, on their fucking um, little billionaire yacht, fucking these really hot bitches, you know, eating the best food, driving the nicest cars, on the nicest planes, nicest helicopters, all this material shit. Basically, the, they got the world by the ball. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Go wherever they want, you know? I'm not being jealous or a hater on that. It's just, it's a sad thing. Because when they go to hell, they got to, not go to hell first. When they end up dying and they end up going to heaven, they have to confront to God what the hell they did that he did for them. They didn't do shit. And then they send their old self to hell. And then they wonder that, oh, God hates everyone who's going to send to hell. No, it's bullshit, all right? I've been a Christian almost 24 years of my life. I already know how that shit works, okay? You know I use a little profanity, but you know what? Not every Christian is perfect, all right? And I'm one of them. I'm a lukewarm one, by the way. But um, one more thing I did want to say about this movie. There is a lot of gun violence. There is a lot of um, sexual um, exploitations and shit like that. There's a lot of funny-ass moments. You know, there's this one part where he um, he ends up talking to the one black dude as a bartender, and there's like, what do you do, boy? He's like, I'm a bounty hunter. What do you do, boy? And he's even trying to impress Leonardo DiCaprio by calling everyone nigger all the time and shit like that. He said, yeah, nigga, you, get it. you better get in line. Ain't nobody looking at me like that. I'm a white European Polynesian. I ain't no black man. You know, that's what Jamie Foxx was saying. I was like, oh, God, this fool is a trip, bro. But a very amazing performance from Jamie Foxx. The last two movies I saw him in was um, Due Date and um, that other one. What's it called? That one and um, The Soloist with Robert Downey Jr. And both of them, he was in both of those movies. And then he did that Blame It on the Goose. Gosh, you feel this? That woman T Pain and Ron Howard's in that movie. Blame It. His little music video. So that dude's got billions of dollars. He could live his life ten times over and he'd still have money left over, literally. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's all I have to say about the movie Django and Chain. Ten out of fucking ten, because that was a badass fucking movie. And uh, Quentin Tarantino, he made his little appearance at the end. He ends up getting blown up by this dynamite. I was like, ah, oh, he just went out like a boss, baby. That's what he did. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say for this thing. Definitely check this shit out. And at the end, these three black dudes that were in there was like, so who the hell was that nigga? He was like that. I was like, oh, shit, for real, this fool. That was funny as hell, too, man. Uh, yeah, other than that, that's all I have to say about this movie. Um, I will see you when I see you. Peace the fuck out. It's what it is. Ain't what it ain't. Um, have a good day. Have a good night wherever you're at in this world. And um, also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I got 23. Actually, not 23. 30 subscribers on my fucking Nintendo Free channel. Definitely big shout out to all of them. The more people I get subscribed to me, the better and the harder I keep working at these videos. Because I do it all for you guys. You know I love you all, man. Alright, peace the fuck out. I'm gone. I'm getting the fuck out of here. And um, probably going to go to the gym later on, alright? Take care. See you soon. Goodbye. Hopefully you have the internet by Wednesday, Thursday. If my roommate that owns the whole house says it's okay, you know. We'll see what happens, alright? I'm gone. Take care. Have a good Saturday. See you around.